Let's get paranormal. I'm Joey, and joined as always, I'm with Cam Bell. Greetings, everybody. And we Greetings. are here to talk about some ghosty shit. Yep, some more ghosty shit and some more of our shit. Yeah, we're gonna talk about all kinds of stuff. No, not mostly one thing. <laughs> yeah, so we don't get sidetracked. We do that a lot. Yeah, like, do. like we did a lot last time too. Like we just like fucking just talk about like one thing, and then we just <laughs> we just went off the rails on that one. <laughs> But to be fair, though, too, that was, like, how many times we had to restart on that? Dude, that sucked. It was all because of that stupid rock right there. Yep. If you guys remember. Oh, no, no, my God. No, I was going <laughs> to. <laughs> Where's the Ouija board? Let's put that rock on there. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I really didn't even touch that. But it is barely on there, so maybe. Yeah. I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> Does it really, like, pop off that hard? No, it kind of, like, washed off. Huh? Well, did you have it on you when it, when it happened? I think I had it on both of these. I think, I don't know. We'll, we'll oh, do a replay. Yeah, we'll have to do a replay. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about one of the top three most haunted dolls in the world. And that is Peggy the doll. But before I show a picture of her, I'm going to give you a warning that some people are affected through just viewing it on their screen. Um, so, just a fair warning. So, it's going to come up in three, two, one. I'll scroll to it. You gotta put that like that. Like, boom! Yeah. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, yeah, just, um, don't look at it when he's counting down. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's already too late if you're. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, so if you don't, well, I'll put like a warning every time. Like, I'm gonna show her a stupid face. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, you know what she looks like, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's yeah. a she's just like a weird like blonde like doll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I would say though too, if you guys did see, uh, and actually don't forget to say, uh, um, what they say, uh, I don't uh, oh, uh, accept any like negative things that's from the video or something like that. Yeah, <clears throat> something like that. Yeah. yeah so uh, do that yeah. too. If you have sage, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After you watch this, just uh, say yeah, because. It's you'll hear in the story like a bunch of it does like affect people through like their computer screens or just seeing it, even animals in their house and stuff. But yeah. uh, we'll jump right into it. Um, so this 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 doll is has like a weird history. There's not it's not like like oh this happened and that happened. It's like a vague history. So this lady, so the story starts where this lady she was just at like a yard sale. She went to like a garage sale. She found this doll. She thought it was. Cute. I don't know why. It looks fucking creepy. I don't, would you even get that doll to begin with? No, I don't think so. Because it doesn't look like like vintage as fuck. Where I'd be like, oh, that's cool. It's like like Pinocchio over here. Yeah. Know? Like he looks like like he's from a time. You know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this looks like a regular blonger. I don't know. if She just maybe collected dolls or something. Mm -hmm. But she took she took the doll home, and I think within that first like cup like week, she was already like feeling like. Like weird vibes from the doll, just like like if something was watching her all the time. Yeah, and she never felt like that in her own home, and she like started feeling ill. She had troubles like troubles breathing at night and stuff like that. Like she had a lot of like um, like chest stuff, like where she felt like she couldn't breathe. She would have like these dreams of something chasing her or something like that, and like she was breathing heavily. So that was happening constantly, and she was noticed that she was feeling a little sick and stuff and she thought it was definitely the doll because um i think objects were even moving around and stuff like that yeah and um so she was getting she even had uh two priests come by and actually bless the doll but it, it just made things worse she actually got more sick and like light bulbs would start exploding and shit <laughs> like that that would be crazy imagine that shit she just chilled like just get shards in your face. Oh shit, dude. You're just like trying to read a book at night. You're just like, oh, what are we doing? <laughs> boom! <laughs> like, would you say that to you? You're just reading. The sun just, boom! <laughs> just like, oh, assholes. <laughs> Put your book away. Just kick the doll or something. I know. <laughs> that oh, shit. would suck. Oh, man. Yeah, but damn, like, she didn't like just get rid of it if like, things were happening. I would have ran away, dude. Like, yeah, but she was like, 
she like kept things were like different items in her house kept like tipping over or breaking or they would go missing. Yeah. And then she even like moved it to the backyard where the shed is, and she left it in there, and it still it got pissed even more, and more stuff started happening. Damn. Yeah. So, Peg is a little bit of an asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, like, um, you think uh, they just like get attached to it? I, like, uh, like the person, or or what, like uh, the entity? Yeah, the person get or like the person gets addicted to uh, like Peggy the doll, you know? Oh, okay. like I said, like if you already have that problem, why don't you just throw it away? But it is kind of weird. It's like throw it away. Like I don't know why keep moving around your house or in your property. Like yeah. just get rid of it. Like I don't know if it's just like a, I don't know, maybe like yeah, like a connection or something. Like they want to get rid of it, but they can't, you know? Yeah. Like they can't have a feeling not to or something. <laughs> I guess it's more. It's like uh, when you find like something like an antique or something like that, though. Too, you know, find something like old and like, oh, that's cool, or yeah. just or just like we said, like just, just looks kind of creepy and probably should just like likes that. Like, yeah. Just like, hey, there's something in here. It's like, why don't you get rid of it? It's like, well, no, I don't want to. <laughs> I just, just told you there's something <laughs> in here. Yeah, but she was getting like really freaked out. Which, well, I don't understand because I've actually seen it. Oh fuck! Sorry, I just fell down. Let's go. You just hurt his crotch for a bit. Yeah. No shit. My dick just. <laughs> this blow uh, just take but, it off <laughs> but I think this lady she was having like I think something happened so like drastically that I think I remember saying that she like had a heart attack or something and that's what prompted her to get rid of the doll finally like, oh, like imagine like it took that long that much just like, <laughs> like, like it's already stopping me from breathing you know Yeah. but now it's like oh I'm gonna give this bitch a heart attack <laughs> uh, yeah, so I gave her a heart attack, and that's when she started, like, um, seeking, like, she started doing research on, like, you know, psychics and stuff like that. She found this lady that is actually, like, like, she's, um, she's not medium, but she was, like, really into, like, uh, she's fascinated with, like, haunted dolls and stuff. She collects them, and I guess that's who she found, and she decided to contact her, and this person was named Jane Harris. She's, like, uh, she's, she has, like a, like, a website and, like, a... A Facebook that's dedicated to just to haunted dolls. Okay. And that's what she like specializes in. And um, so this lady, she did agree to take the doll uh, from her. So the lady put it in a box and then shipped it. And I think it was a long trip because I think it took like a month for her to get the doll. Yeah. And it showed up to her house. And um, she said, once she opened the box and once, or not, once she grabbed the box and once she like took one foot step into the door. Like, her, the energy felt different in the house or something. Like, immediately. Which, I don't know what that feels like. I don't know. Well, I kind of get it. Like, when sometimes, like, when we're ghost hunting and, like, all of a sudden, like, for some reason, something just feels different. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> the, the, first, the first one, uh, well, I would say it's the haunted, uh, haunted Hill House. Yeah. yeah. Like, right when you close that door, you just, you just felt like something different. Especially when it was, like, just us by ourselves, though, too. Yeah. Like, it felt different from... The first time going in, then the second time. Yeah. When we finally closed everything, that was that was crazy. Yeah. Or even like sometimes when we're in a room and you feel something come in or something, like when you're talking to another entity or like a spirit, and all of a sudden something darker comes in the room. Oh yeah. And you kind of feel like a shift. Like whoa, do you feel that? Like yeah, something else yeah. is here. Like you just know that there's like that bad feeling or something like that. Like, yeah. Like uh, if you just know someone just got in a fight or something and they just walk in the room, it's all quiet. You know, you like yeah, you that. can kind of feel their energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like a negative energy. Yeah, like it's weird because like when you're in a room, sometimes you can kind of direct where that energy's coming from. Like you can kind of feel it coming to the room. Yeah. You're just like, it feels like it's right here. And everybody's like, yeah, it feels like it's like right behind us. But so that's what she was feeling when she came in the door. Um, so the first week, the, her and her like her friends, or not friends, but like I guess like the people she works with, I like, do like paranormal investigations and stuff like that. They decided to say EMF readers, night vision and stuff like that. But the first week, nothing really fucking happened. So, like, it was just, like, normal shit. Just still felt like she was being watched and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, normal shit. Um, but then as the, the the months went on, which was weird, is that she started getting sick, too. Like, she got so sick where she was bedridden for weeks. Damn, for yeah. weeks? Yeah, for weeks. Like, um, and then um, I think, yeah, and the, I think it happened for the, the next, like, several months, I think. Like, she was just, like, sick. Where she was so sick she couldn't take care of her kids or anything like that. Yeah. And um, she, and then one day she contacted um, um, one of her other friends that are a medium because she wanted to do some, like, uh, readings on the doll. 
because she does like tarot readings and stuff like that. So the lady t- took the doll. This is like 15 weeks after she received it, and she took the doll from that house, and immediately she felt better. Like she got, she wasn't sick anymore. Okay. Anything like that. That's crazy. That's like, what the fuck, you know? Yeah, so it just kind of like feeds off them, I guess. Yeah, it like drains whoever the owner is, you know? Mm-hmm. So the after the medium had it for like a couple of weeks, she had it. And she came back. She was like, I put a protection spell on it. And there was like, um, let's see. So what, what the medium contacted with the doll, that there was a lady that owned the doll. And she lived, lived in England, which makes sense because the original owner was from England. So the original owner was from England is what she got from her readings. This is not like like they researched it or anything. But yeah. Said it was a lady from England named Peggy. She she had a really tragic, horrible life. This was like she, that she lived around 1946, and that she had a in like a bad asthma attack, and she pretty much like suffocated to death Damn. from an asthma attack, and she died alone. And she already had a horrible life. And then, for some reason, she got connected to this doll. I don't know why. But. Okay, yeah, because so. honestly, like, it would probably, like, I would understand what the, if she was already, if she already had the doll beforehand, you know? Yeah. But I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she did, and then somehow it got, like, someone owned it, and then it eventually ended up in a yard sale. But, yeah, so the original owner did die around the doll, but I don't know why she got connected to that doll. I don't know if that was her favorite doll or something. Maybe, Maybe. that's why. Maybe. That's crazy. That sucks, though, too, to have, like, just imagine, like, that asthma attack and, like, just, yeah, just slowly dying like yeah. that, too. That's asthma crazy. attacks are fucking scary. I've, because I, I grew up with asthma, and I used to have asthma attacks all the time. And it's probably one of the scariest feelings is not being able to breathe. That's such a fucking scary feeling. And that's inside you, too, right? Like, it yeah, it's, open yeah, it's like, uh, it's like where your airway, it gets, like, has mucus in it. Mm. And it does that whenever you have allergies or, mostly allergies, is like, kicks it up. Because it gets mucus and doesn't go away and it kind of seals up your airway. And I used to have that when I was a kid. And I remember waking up in the hospital, like, all the fucking time. Like, I would pass out because I didn't have enough oxygen in my brain. Mm. And then I would wake up the next day or later on that night in the hospital. It's a scary fucking feeling. Like, you can't. It's like, yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. It's almost like when we're, like, on stage and you got long-ass screaming. And oh, you just, yeah. like, kind of go, like, away. Like, mm-hmm. it kind of feels like that. But, of course, you're gasping for air at the same time, though. Yeah. But, yeah, it's a scary feeling. So I understand, like, why her, her end of her life was... Because she was alone. She didn't have anyone to, like, help her or nothing. And you said it's around that time, though, too. So there's, like, what, World War II was going on, though, too? Like, yeah, time? 1946. And there's, it's England. Yeah, like, the war, like guarantee they didn't have much medical help you know or really know what like how to treat asthma either yeah damn yeah. Uh, that's fucking, that's scary yeah so that's that's who they think is attached to the doll this older lady and peggy so that's where they got the name from it was from that reading so the lady put the protection spell on it to like kind of like keep the doll or the spirit like in like pretty much in the doll so it couldn't move around yeah so Jane, the one that owner, she got the doll back, and she started doing, like, updates with Peggy the doll on Facebook. And they, she didn't put the story. She didn't put anything. She just put, put a picture of her on there. And people immediately started commenting, emailing her, messaging her, saying that they were having heart problems or breathing problems or their animals would, like, act violently and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, like, immediately. So that's, like, fucking, that's weird. It's not even putting the story out. Like yeah. People were having a lot of breathing issues. I'm like, what the fuck? That makes sense with her, the lady who died, like that, you know? Yeah. Maybe she just wants people to feel like what she went through. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> was it, uh, that she already found a way how to travel through through the internet? Yeah, no shit. Now she's just surfing the waves, dude. She's <laughs> yeah, like dude. surfing the, the internet. Dude. Fucking, you're going to choke. <laughs> you're going to choke. <laughs> <laughs> no, light bulbs. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, that's another thing. People were just having their light bulbs explode and shit in their houses yeah. and stuff. Like, and you're just like, whoa, what's this? It's a cute little... Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit! shit. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> it's every time I look at this picture. I, I'm pretty sure, like, they would start doing, like, a thing, like, hey, you want to see something crazy? Like, look at this picture. And, like, what's going to happen? Like, just look. Then that, that like... He fucked up. That's really... Yeah, that's really messed up, but... 
Pretty sure a lot of people already done it though too. Probably. Like, what do you feel with this doll, homie? Yeah. Like, I'm like, I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> you know, I could, I, you can do his light bulbs. <laughs> you don't have to keep on doing mine. <laughs> no, but it's just, it's just like the the uh, when people want to do the Bloody Mary kind of type of stuff. Oh yeah. Know? So I'm pretty sure that's what it is like for like the doll. Like, dude, something happened to me with this one. I don't see if it happens to you because I'm not yeah. sure if it happened to me. So. I yeah. had to get a second opinion. <laughs> you ever done Bloody Mary before? Um, I think I did when I was a kid. I, I think I did it as a kid though too, but it was like back in elementary yeah, school. Yeah, there's like different rules every time you hear. Like, there's you're supposed to have the water running or something. I that's one rule that is supposed to like that disappeared every years or something. Yeah, uh, that one. I didn't really know about that one with the water running. I think I, it would just like be either in a. a in the restroom or front of a mirror, I think there's like like some candles or some shit. Yeah, you like have that. to have like a candle. Yeah. yeah, but like there's a but yeah, there's a whole different like types of rules that you know. Yeah, there's like different rules. Yeah, because I remember when I was a kid, it was supposed to be supposed to have a candle, supposed to say look into a mirror, and say her name like three times or something like yeah. like fucking Beetlejuice. Yeah, and then and then one of the I remember you're supposed to have like water running or something. I remember that fucking rule a long time ago, but every time I see it now, like that's never a rule anymore. You, do you think it might work if you do that? Like maybe, like, maybe that's just an old rule that you people forgot. Maybe it's it works. You know, <laughs> maybe we can just have the sink running or have every water running in the. Because there is a segment where I, uh, um, on the, me and Kyle's last one, I do the Bloody Mary. Oh okay. Yeah, because uh, someone in the uh, one of our viewers told me to try it, like in that house. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if that see you can see if something happens or not. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, so anyways, back to the story. So yeah, so people were being affected, even through just the internet. Peggy surfing the waves of the, the internet. Fucking. Surf the waves. She's like, ah, you know. <laughs> Shaka, bro. Seeing <laughs> everybody sick. Like, dude, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Uh, so, so Jane ended up, um, giving the doll or meeting with Zach Baggins. Everybody knows who Zach Baggins is. Yeah. That's the, uh, pretty much what. Like he's pretty much the first, one of the first like, I guess, celebrity ghost hunters. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Because they pretty much started like the whole. Well, they didn't start it. They actually got the idea from a, a show called Feared. From Fear? Yeah, MTV's Feared. Have you ever seen that? I don't think. I don't think so. It's a. Uh, it's where they get like these group of like like ki- not kids, but they're like college students. Oh wait, no, I think I do remember. Okay, okay, I'm about to just pull this bitch. I'm about to pull it. I'm about to pull it. And Actually, then they send them into haunted locations yeah. and they have to do certain tasks and stuff like that. Yeah, that just fucking unlocked a memory. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I remember that. Kyle unlocked that. He was bringing it up last time. I was, remember that show? I was, what the fuck? And I looked into it and that's, that show is was before any ghost hunting show ever. Yeah. Because Ghost Adventures didn't come out until 2008. So that means that fear was pretty much what sparked that interest. Yeah, like it's possible to do like ghost investigating like on TV or something like that. Yeah, like in, it's not boring, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because it was... It was cool. I was watching a couple episodes. It was fun because they're like scared as fuck. Because yeah. <laughs> they had like no reference, you know. They don't. There's not like, oh, I've seen a show where they went here before. Yeah. It was just like no one's ever done this shit, you know. Like, so it's just like you have no like, I guess like way of like, oh, it's like this show or it's like this. It's like this is brand new. Yeah, and it sucks. That it got canceled. It got canceled because it was just really expensive to do. <laughs> <laughs> Darn, that sucks. <laughs> I know. That's the only reason they canceled it. Kyle's like, we should bring that show back. I was like, oh, shit, if they paid us to bring it back, fuck yeah. It'd be funny just to see people fucking screaming and shit. <laughs> That's crazy because, like, just imagine going to a different location and, like, with all the ghosts that they have and stuff. Like, uh, you're the first one to really experience it. And then after when people start going, they start, like, they have the same experience that you have or something like that. Yeah. There's locations on that show that I've never heard of. There's like a cement... Uh, fuck, we're getting off topic. Well, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the show. So Zach Bagans got the doll. Uh, he did like an interview with Jane. You can actually see it. She did an interview with Jane and one of the owners previous to her. Um, so you can actually get like the full interview of that. But watch this first. No, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, watch this. But Zach actually has... If you want to see Peggy the doll, you actually can visit her. She's at the Zach Bagans Haunted Museum in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. So you can go check that out. You can actually go meet her and a bunch of other her friends, <laughs> but so that, that that's I don't know that's creep. I, I I what do you think? Like why do people like why is that a thing that like spirits get attached to dolls? Like why do you think that's a thing? I really don't know. Like the first thing that really does come to mind was like 
the one I said, like, um, if they already have an attachment to the doll already, you know? Like, yeah. this is, like, my favorite, you know, my favorite uh, yeah. doll or something, and they die, and they're like, oh, dude, I'm still with this yeah. little dude, you know? Yeah, like, I, I don't know. Like, I, it's like, I don't think I would die and be like, I'm going to stick next to my guitar all the time, you know? Like, <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know. Like, but maybe it's just a thing. Like, maybe it has to be like a violent death or something. And it's either that, or probably during the time when they were alive, it was like their coping me- mechanism. You know, they can uh, maybe yeah. like if something bad happened, they went back to that same thing and like it just kept them like calm or yeah. comfort or something. So it can be like that though too. But what's weird is that she's violent. You know, she's not like it's not like she's just like oh it's a happy little ghost that's connected to the doll. It's like no, I'm gonna start hurting motherfuckers. You know, like, yeah. Like well, like is it just because she had a shitty life and. Like, maybe it's not even a real woman, you know? I was just about to say that. I was like, what if, yeah, what if they just gave him a some, name? Some bullshit. Yeah. yeah, and they're just like, yeah, hey, fucking people, will, humans are dumb, you know, I'm a demon. Yeah, <laughs> my, yeah, I could I could believe it might be a demon, you know? Because, mm. yeah, if it's violent, if it's doing that to people in person or surfing the web, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like a regular person, I don't think would do that, you know? Maybe, yeah. like, make you feel sad or something but I don't think it has like the power to make people like light bulbs explode and shit like yeah that's usually uh, just a paranormal shit going on it's, it's usually like done. a demonic thing yeah, yeah. but I, I don't know I don't why no actually maybe I can I don't know, answer for that one I was gonna say why do demons go into the dolls for that one to you know start torturing humans up here but I think they just do it because uh, they're assholes and <laughs> yeah they, I think they despise humans like yeah. yeah. Remember we talked to that one guy? Uh, he said he was like a de- demonologist or something. He was like, remember at the, we did the, the head baker, head, ba- hey, head baker's market. Head baker's <laughs> <laughs> This baking heads all <laughs> fucking <laughs> psychos. <laughs> yeah, I went to a serial killer meeting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were guests there. We're like, oh, you guys make ghosts from scratch for us. That's cool. <laughs> they had a big old portrait of uh, Ed Gein. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ed Gein and fucking what the fuck's that little nerdy looking motherfucker? <laughs> the nerdy looking motherfucker? Yeah, the guy with the stupid glasses that everybody Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, that fucker, Jeff, yeah. <laughs> Jeff, like I know the guy. <laughs> I don't just short his name down. <laughs> <laughs> little Jeffy boy. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> but uh what we were saying? Oh yeah, the headbangers uh market. Yeah, that guy was telling us about how demons will like like they hate humans so much that they purposely don't learn English because they think it's like lower than them. Oh yeah, they yeah. think it's lower. Like it's like we're lower species or something. I was that actually made sense when he said that though too. Yeah, I was like, I wonder why they just growl and bark and shit. I like, was, or they say like weird languages or some shit. I would just uh, learn some uh, Latin. <laughs> oh, shit. That would be, honestly, that'd be pretty crazy to like to learn that, but. I think that'd even be more scary because if they could speak that though, Tiana was like, "I'm actually really speaking to a demon right now." <laughs> just, your hair just turns white. <laughs> my head turns white. Your hair <laughs> just like turned to a squid. You're like, my hair turned white. I'm like, it don't look like it. Not up here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like you can just feel it. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Check it out. You're like, it's pretty white. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This looks like a like a porcupine. Uh, porcupine. I don't know. This. The tips are like white. <laughs> I thought you were talking about just the whole body of the oh, it's just like all spiky as fuck. Like I just spike up everything or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's crazy though. It's um, if we could, yeah, if we could just learn that one or have like the little dictionary of Latin yeah. word or something. Well, like what's that. weird is that last time we uh, we actually got a Latin word last at the haunted hill or haunted house. It was Ooh. at Sacrores. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was saying sacred object or something. Yeah, yeah. It was speaking Latin there. I was like, "What the fuck?" Then that 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 was a demon there. Yeah, it makes sense. Hell, yeah, yeah. totally forgot because I remember we were like wondering what it was. And I was like, "I gotta look it up." So yeah, yeah and that's what that meant. Damn. How many demons have we already speaking to now? Mm-hmm. Like, a lot. Some of, most of them don't even speak. It's mostly like the de- like the spirits are oppressing at that spot. Yeah, but um. What, uh, what else do they have on the, the Peggy? The uh, well, Peggy leggies. well, so Zach got it, and then, well, when they brought did the interview, she actually brought the doll into, like, the m- museum with, like, a sack over its head. Mm. And he was like, what the fuck? Why do you have, like, a sack mm. over its head? I've never seen that before. And she's like, well, when people look at it, they usually have heart attacks and shit. <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> He's, like, scared as shit. He didn't want to take it off. Zach, he was like, I don't want to, like, hurt my viewers at the same time. <laughs> but fuck him. I was going to him. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my heart! I'm scared. 
Yeah, so that's where it's been for like what, it's for like years now. This I, is about yeah. Yeah, and I've I, I've been there and I've seen Peggy the Doll in person twice. Uh, yeah, that's it. No, I'm just okay. <laughs> What's funny is that we had a little crossover with her in one of our episodes, which was really fucky. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you should have seen Cameron's eyes. He was just like. I just rolled back. Like he said, "What the fuck?" But his eyes said, "Fucky, fucky." Is that stupid? He said, "Fucky, fucky." What kind of eyes is that? I, don't know. I was like, "What <laughs> 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 the fuck?" I don't know how it looks like. It's like it's your so best fucky, fucky eyes, dude. <laughs> I don't have fucky eyes. That's why I don't know how that looks. <laughs> oh, that's, that's like a fucking, uh, was it terrifying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there, there you go. There's his eyes. <laughs> that was stupid, dude. <laughs> oh, damn. That was dumb. <laughs> oh, fuck. <But> anyways. <laughs> so, I... I <laughs> When you go to see the the doll, like so, when you're at Zach Baggins, they'll, they'll take you to the museum. It's like, like part of the end half of the tour, I think. So there's a room. They stop you out in front of the thing, and you can hear a spirit box running inside. It's running. It's just, and it's kind of creepy because it's like dark as fuck, and like the whole Peggy room is like almost like red colored inside, like with lights. And she's like in a little like wooden box, like a wooden like box with like a glass over it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's like, uh, so they tell you in front, they're like, all right, so this is, uh, as everybody knows, the infamous Peggy the Doll. Um, she resides here. A lot of people don't feel okay going in here, so you don't have to go into this room if you don't feel like you want to. But upon entering the room, you do have to say, hello, Peggy. And as you leave the room, you got to say goodbye or else she will get mad. And so we're like that. So, <laughs> And then they tell you not to look at her in the eyes. So like, if, like, if you don't feel comfortable, don't look at her at all. Just look at the floor. And or just don't look at her in the eyes. So me at the time we were just starting our investigations. I still didn't wasn't a believer. Yeah. I still was like this is like I still wasn't sure. Like I was just like on the like looking over the fence pretty much. I was just like <laughs> eh, I don't believe this shit. But what's going on over there? You know. Yeah. And so I was still like kind of like in that phase where I was like nothing's oh, gonna happen. You know. Like so I went in there, looked her dead straight. I stopped. We're not supposed to stop in the line. You're supposed to just keep going. But I stopped, and I looked her in the eye. I was like, I said, hi, Peggy, again. I was like, hi. And I was like, nice to meet you. I said, I ran to her face. And then I continued walking, left the room, and said goodbye. And you could hear everybody saying goodbye, goodbye, because everybody's all scared. Hmm. And they're like, why did you stop? I was like, did you look at her? I was like, yeah. And these, this group of girls are just like, what the fuck? Why would you do that? Just talking to <laughs> Because I went by myself. Yeah. I wasn't with anybody. And they're just like, what? You're crazy. And I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm not scared. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, so that whole tour went, nothing happened, I was fine, and then I think, was it later on that same year? I think it was, huh? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think it was later on that same fucking year. I went back, and this time I was with my uh, my now girlfriend. Um, we went to, because she's never been there, and I was like, oh, I've been there, and yeah, we can go check it out again, I don't mind going. We went, and same part of the Peggy, they tell us to say goodbye and everything, I told her everything. And I told her, so you don't have to look her in the eyes if you don't want to. She, I don't I think Jimmy did. But we were like, I was like third from the front mm-hmm. of the line. And these two guys were in front of me. They went by. They already turned the corner. And then I saw her and I looked at her again in the eyes. I was like, hi, Peggy. I was like, it's me again. And then she, and the spirit box is still running. And then it just, this low ass, deep fucking voice just said like, you belong here. <laughs> yeah, and it just told me that. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? And then the little tour lady, she like stopped. She was like, what What did it say? I was like, it just told me I belong here. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jimmy got kind of freaked out. She was like, that was weird. I was like, yeah. I was like, I've seen her. I was like, I've met her before. That's why. And then, uh, and then that's when we went to Donna Anna for the first time a little after that. Yeah. And we were in the middle of a we, uh, board session. <laughs> we were in the cells. Like, it wasn't that far from where that little girl, that, like, supposedly died. Yeah, it was just, like, across from it. Just, like, it's, like, down that little hall, hallway. Yeah. And then after that, right across. It's just, like, a turn, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so we were in there. We, we, it was uh, Cameron, Kyle, and myself. And we all went down there. That's when I got freaked out because I thought Pickles was with us, and he really wasn't. Yeah. That freaked me the fuck out of me. So <laughs> we were down there. We were doing the Ouija board set. And then we got in contact with uh, Sophie, the little girl. That's what we found out her name was. And she was talking to us, and she was being real fun. She was telling us, like, what kind of shoes she has on and her dress and everything. Yeah. And then, and then that's when we heard that, like, laugh. Oh man! Yeah, it's it's so clear on that one because I think we heard something, but we didn't know it was until you like look back at it. Yeah, and yeah, man, that was. Because at first we're like, is that breathing or something? Because it just sounded like, <sighs> yeah, like that. But then when you listen to it, it was just like going something. <laughs> like I was like, what the fuck? Oh man, that's <laughs> that's giving me chill. I don't know. Every time we hear when we catch something like on a. EVP or something that we've seen or something when I get chills I just know like that's my body like just still trying to comprehend like is this even still real you know it's just like yeah. did we catch it or something like that I don't know oh it's fucking creepy it's 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 so gnarly though I'm thinking, uh, just yeah, having those <laughs> yeah so we heard something laugh and then there was like footsteps and then something like touching like the bars and shit and we asked Sophie I was like hey is something else here and she was like yes and I was all, is it bad? And she said yes. And then I was like, has it, has it been here this whole time? And she said no. I was like, and I don't know why her her face up this appeared in my face, my face, my my head, <laughs> like the doll's face. I don't know what it was. I don't know because I wasn't thinking about it. It was already been like a month or two. And I was like, that's I don't know why that popped in my head. And then I asked her. I was like, did some, did we bring this thing here? And she said yes. Remember? Mm-hmm. And then I was like. Oh, fuck. I was like, what's your... And then it started acting weird, and it started saying different stuff, and I was like, who is this? And then it started going P-E-G, and I was like, it's Peggy, and then it just stopped and went to yes. Yeah. That fucking freaked me the fuck out, dude. Um, I was like, what the fuck? I, was like, <laughs> I know, because I think when you uh, when you said that, though, too, I was like, I was like oh, shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, I did have the... The, oh, the, 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 the fucky fuck. Yeah, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I guess, yeah, that was true. <laughs> Completely true. <laughs> I just realized that shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's fucking funny. But, yeah, so we caught, uh, I guess somehow she was following me around for, like, a few months, I guess. And she happened to pop through right there. Unless she just found, like, an opening through the board or something. But Maybe, uh, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> uh, didn't she, I think if I remember, she kind of followed you for a bit or something like that. Yeah, so we talked to her and then asked her, like, why the fuck? She, and she just said that she just liked me or something. Mm-hmm. That she was following me. She didn't, like, hate me or anything. And I was like, okay. So you just thought I was, like, an interesting person. And I said yes. And I was like, okay, well, I told her, well, it's time to go back. I was like, it's time to go back to your home back at the museum. And I was like, it's, like, you don't have to follow me anymore. Just go back. I don't allow you to follow me anymore. And then it just stopped. Nah. Yeah. It didn't say anything anymore. It just, like, went, like, almost like, all right, fuck you then. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh... Okay, so we get done with the investigation, and I don't think anything, you know. We, we do the stage and everything, and then we, I come back home, and that night we didn't stay anywhere. We actually drove back that night. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, so the sun was, like, up, like, coming up by the time we got home. Just about, because, yeah, we, I didn't think we, le- we left until... It's been, like, almost five. Yeah, I'd say about five, yeah. Yeah, because we got home, like, yeah, it was, like, ready, like, the sun was already almost, like, up, or isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then I dropped you guys off, Kyle, and then I, me and Jimmy came home, and this is when, like, I actually started having, like, an experience. So I went to bed. The sun is up, like, already. So we just have the blinds closed, and it's still kind of, like, daylight. You know, you can still see. And uh, Jimmy always has the closet light on because she's afraid of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we're going to sleep, and I keep... Every time I fall asleep, I'm back at the Donna Anna place. But every time I'm looking, like, down the hallways and stuff, I can see the doll. And it's just, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, I wake up because I get kind of freaked out. I wake up, and then I, I'm awake, and then I see the fucking doll in our closet. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, I see the doll in our closet, and it's just there. Like, it's in the back of the closet, like, next to the clothes. And then I'm like, and then I'm like, kind of get up, and then she disappears. 
I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what if I'm just like still half asleep and I'm still seeing my dream or something? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I go back to sleep. I'm in the fucking Donna Anna again. And then this time the doll's even closer to me in the dream. I wake up, the doll's closer in my room. It's closer to like the, the, the frame of the door now. Yeah. I blink, get up, and then I'm like, still like half asleep and then disappears. And I'm like, okay, like I'm, maybe I'm just still freaking myself out. Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. And I'm a little freaked out, so I go back to sleep. This time, oh man, I don't like talking about it. This time, I don't remember if it was you, Pickles, or Kyle, but I remember the doll. You, I don't know, someone was acting weird in my dream. They're like facing the other way and they turn around and they're like almost like in a trance. And then there's like fucking hair sticking out of one of your guys' mouths. Like blonde, curly hair. Yeah. So I grab. You guy by the one of you guys by the I don't remember who it was, and then I remember grabbing the hair and I'm pulling Peggy the doll out of somebody. That was probably one of the creepiest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I'm pulling the hair out of, and it looks creepy because the person whoever I'm pulling out their jaw is like unhinged almost, like yeah. all creepy looking. And I pull the doll and she's like wet and like gross looking, and then I wake up and Peggy the doll is in my room next to my bed right there and I just like fucking freak out blink and then she disappears and then I never see her again it's like she wanted to scare me like one last time before she went back to the museum <laughs> yeah just give you like the scare of your life pretty much yeah she gave me a fucked up dream and she fucking appeared in my room that fucking scared the fuck out of me yeah that's crazy I remember just her looking like down at me like yeah it was fucking weird <laughs> Would you want to go see her again if you got the chance? Honestly, like, I am a little nervous going back. <laughs> like, because I, like, I'm a little nervous going back. Like, is she going to say something or is she going to get attached to me again? But part of me is curious enough to want to go back. Yeah. So it's like a, like, uh, like I don't want to go back. I don't want to at the same time I do, you know. I feel like it's a good thing. It's like a full circle. Because uh, yeah. you went there, like, a non-believer. You're kind of, yeah, you're just like, yes, eh, you know, I'll just go. Yeah. To now, if you go back for the third time, you're like a full-on... Yeah, it's just like, like, hey, Peggy, it's me again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for, <laughs> for the nightmare. Huh? I'd probably tell my story to everyone was there, you know, like in the tour group. Like, you guys get a special treat. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, that was a fucking, it looked so real, too. Like, like the dream looked real, and then when I woke up, she was right there. And it was weird. She was, like, solid. Like, like you know, I could, like, grab her, like, or something. But once I, like... Like blinked the like I blinked a few times. She was still there, and then I was like, kind of like went like that, and she like disappeared. Damn. Really a trip. I remember Jimmy waking up. She's like, "What the fuck?" She's like, "Why are y'all sweaty?" I was like, "I just fucking saw." It. I told her everything. So like, what the fuck? Damn. She immediately got him to just like stage the whole place and everything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's just crazy. Those things can just yeah just follow you, man. Yeah, and it doesn't even happen like that same night or like that week. It happened months later. Yeah, which is fucking nuts. <laughs> Yeah, and just uh, even just recently too, I just had a recent ghost dream. But we'll just get on to that one a little bit later. <laughs> but that's just that's just scary. I don't think I would like want to go back to sleep after that. <laughs> I did. I stayed up the rest of the fucking day. I was just like, oh my god, that, I don't know what the fuck that happened. I just kept picturing her, like in my mind, just that dream, and then that we seen her in the closet. But that was a trip. So don't look at Peggy in the eyes if you go visit her. <laughs> and, and be really I, respectful. <laughs> yes. And on this video too, he already warned you, but if you want to go look her eyes uh, through the through the screen, then you uh, you take the risk on that one on yourself. Yeah. And she's going to come up on the screen in three, two, and boom. Boom. <laughs> Just That's fucking right light bulbs, dude. <laughs> that is the face that was in my closet and next to my bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and with the power that I can do, I command notch can. <laughs> I don't have any I don't I don't do that stuff. <laughs> I just I just check if they're still around. <laughs> Alright, well that, that's the end of this episode for Piggy the Doll. Yeah. That was a uh, that was a pretty fun episode. That was a fun episode. Yeah, just like staying on top trying to stay on topic. <laughs> <laughs> that just naturally happens. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's get paranormal. I'm Joey, and this is Cameron. Yeah. And we shall smell you later. Oh, yeah. Give him the fuck you guys one more time.